stop ruining the unboxings. Look at her ruin it. Scratching herself, she's adorable. Um, a couple random items. We'll do the elegant with the lightning bolt next. First, uh, Fio sent me this, and they had a little letter enclosed saying the differences between the review sample and the mass production version. And it's a very Chinese envelope. And basically, this is the new Q1 Mark II, which looks sexy, and I want to touch it. I want to touch it, but I wanted to do an unboxing, and I waited for some other things to arrive. Apparently, the indicator light on this one's going to be blue, but the real one's going to be green. So right off the bat, A1 Plus plus ultra uh the chinese english manual have eight languages instead of just chinese english and apparently and get this this unit this demo unit will have engraved on the back of it and laser engraved uh not for sale so if in the future i decide to sell it that's it means it is for sale and you get to have one that says not for sale uh there's a connection to, corrections on the pcb of the review samples so have requirements for function are the same between them. Is there just another sample you're interested in the unit take pictures? Make sure your situation is clear of any misunderstanding. Okay, so rip it apart, which I'm not going to, because this thing is gonna be fidgety as hell. The latest software update. Okay, good. So basically that's what that says. Oh god, it's so sharp. So sharp. I wanna to touch it. And this uh this Q1 is balanced. Which was a little bit like, oh let me look at the front of it. Bow! Bow. So I'm I'm a bit of a bow. Bow person. I like bow. It's, it's disassembling itself. Come on. Come on, I wanna see you. I wanna touch you. I wanna remove your foam guardian. Move this piece of crap. Let me look at the real good stuff. Oh, yeah. Cock rings. Multiple. How many we got? Dude, do we have four? We have four cock rings. That's all I really care about. One, two, and then slightly smaller. We've got, ooh, a textured grip. It's got a textured grip, Chewbacca. What are you, I'm not eating. This is not food. Very heavy duty wire tie, I like it. If you haven't seen any of my unboxings, I judge an, a company and a product entirely by the quality of their shitty wire ties. Because if you put a real shit wire tie on a product, it means you don't give a rat's ass, but saving, you wanna save every penny. That's a good high quality wire tie. This does feel rather thin and stiff and spaghetti-like, however. But look, it's got a textured grip for wet insertions. Oh, play with that. It's on her tail, and it's off her tail. We have got an Apple connector to Mini. Again, I, I'm a really, uh, Theo, if you're watching, and I'm assuming you're not watching this, but I've reviewed so much of your stuff. Please, for the love of God, just go to USB-C. It's so nice. It just, you're a big company. If you go to it, you have to, you will force other companies to go to it. No one, no one will be upset about a better connector. What do we got in here? We got silicone pad to put against this, against your phone. Which actually, I do have a phone, but I don't have a phone with a DAC, so it's gonna. His phone has no headphone out. So it's gonna be interesting. I gotta hook up USB. That's a nice bag. That is an anchor level bag. Quick start guide for music and happy. Mm-hmm. That's mostly Chinese. That's mostly English. Line out, DSD indicator, of course it needs DSD. I'm, I'm, I'm just, someone give me a reason to be excited about DSD. I mean, not like, oh, the recordings sound amazing because if I converted to DSD through an analog out and in, I guarantee you it would sound still amazing. It's just a master, yeah, that's very stiff. I mean, I guess that's okay. It's just that I don't, like I'm noticing how stiff that is. And that's not my usual shtick. Stick, stiff, stiff stick. All right, putting this away. So that's your Apple connector. There's your three and a half to three and a half. I don't need that. Uh, if I do end up selling this for hundreds of thousands of dollars on the Patreon yard sales, which are once a month from the first to the tenth, you have to be a five dollar subscriber. Then we could discuss that. Then. Uh, 
little light on the lettering. That's base on off. That's low high gain. There's a reset button. There's your charge. Nothing on the sides, which is good. It means you can grab it like. I got a good feel. Okay, so what do we got? Clicks on. That's blue. Shuts off. God, this thing is tiny. This, if this works as well as I hope it works, when I had that little freak out about the SMSL M2, you remember that thing and how amazing it was? And I really loved that thing, but it had driver issues and other people were having problems, so I had to sort of like back up from my amazing praise of it. But I mean, this now, line in here, comfortable, nice, knurled, balanced knob. Mm. And balanced, and balanced, and it'll be a DAC, and it'll do DSD. This might have a future, a good future. None of that really matters. It's all up to how it sounds and how long the battery lasts. And let's talk about branding. What does that say? Ella Giant. It's Ella, Ella, Ella Giant, right? And there's a black lightning bolt over the white eye. That's ter terrible. It's a terrible logo. Anyway, so since I got the anchor, since I've opened the floodgates with the anchor battery pack, and then I got those wood ones, which I still have to try in stereo mode. I forget those names. This company uh, actually contacted me and said, hey, look, someone's impersonating you, trying to get stuff. So I'm like, thank you for selling me that. And uh, yeah, send me your product. So here is. And at least it's cool looking, because I would suck if it was boring. Here is an acrylically clear, <gasps> with a base port. Where's that base port go? There. That's it. Dude, that's... I wonder if I could put coins in there and have them be lost inside of it. That would be terrifying, by the way. They could have prated up the magnets. Buttons in the back, auxiliary DC in, base port. This looks like... I don't, I don't want to say what it looks like. I'll tell you what though, considering they're using like just a see-through plastic, that is a hard, that feels like it could take a bullet of some small caliper, at least 22 won't penetrate that. So we'll get to see how this sounds, or I'll get to hear how this sounds, is even protective coverings over the rubber feet. Leave those on. They could have really done up the magnets a little nicer, but... I'm not going to ask for gold. Oh god, it would have been gold. Now, we're going to do the Australia box. And I'm going to open it upside down because my name is written on the other side like huge. And uh, this should be... Well, this is a giant box. I know what should be in here. And this is a giant box instead of just a small box for a headphone cable. So, I don't know exactly what's in here. If it's pornographic, I will probably edit it out. But, uh, I don't know. We get a lot of good things from Australia. My uh, review of those audio flies should have dropped by now. Now I open this up upside down, so if there's something on the other side, I'm gonna see it last. Chewbacca, look what I got for you. Yep, I knew there would be a thing. That's just explaining this. So anyway, a fan of mine who's on the Patreon uh, I've been helping him back and forth for a while, and he decided to make me a cable or two, apparently. That is... I hope this is math. Forget that shit. Is this math? I have math written on this. Damn it! I don't blame him for using, like, paper. I had to buy these bubble mailers at Staples just now, and spent 46 fucking dollars on 24 bubble mailers. Let's see. And I will question him if he wants his name given out, because Australia is not like... This is not cheap to send, although he sent it in this massive box. But if he wants any extra work, if these turn out to be not terrible, which I'm sure they will turn out to be not terrible, then we can be in business. Or he could at least provide for Australians, because God knows you guys. Australians are the second or third largest viewership on my big channel keeping all of this. This is all expensive stuff. And uh, you guys need as much help out there as you can get. So, if he's willing to make headphone cables for the likes of you, 
I'll get to the giant bundles. I want to see the little baby bundles first. Jesus, what did he build me? Oh, he built me the speaker cables. That's right. I forgot about the speaker cables. I was bound. I was. My head was wrapped around other things. Giggity. Oh, we're gonna check his wire ties. Not good. Not. I'm. I'm assuming this is Australia's best though. So, if we're gonna talk about wire ties, this would be like off. This might be a three out of ten. Where that other one, this one, solid 8 out of 10. Getting closer to 9. This is flimsy and thin. Paper, if I probably shred it with my finger. Actually, it is plastic, but look at that. Look at that. Terrible. Get better better wire ties. Trust me. It's all mental. Let's take off the protective covering. Now, if he did this right... Wow, he did a lot of... That's a lot to protect that two and a half. I mean, I don't think it would have been damaged. So, but it did. It wasn't because he, he wrapped it in white electrical tape. So this one is Sennheiser connector. Oh, and look at that. Does it not match exactly my... Uh, the one I got for the... I signs. Yes, it does. Thicker, a little stiff, little stiffer. It's still soft, but you can feel it's got a harder center. Yeah, that's perfect. Is it nipple height? Is it nipple height? About. His uh, heat shrink also has A, his fingerprints on it, which is cool. I could personate him. And it says wall tube. So yeah, this is, this is going to be the new style. I swear to God, if I... Can it influence anything in this world? This will be the new style of headphone cable with a split at the base. Put that down. Spend six hours getting this. This last box, by the way, it's worth hanging on to the last box. Don't skip ahead. You need that. You need all of the drama. There you go. See, as soon as you do it like twice, you figure out this is bullshit. Rip this apart real fast. Let's invest in better. Here's, here's, here's the one I've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Balance, two and a half millimeter. Early split to Mr. Speaker's connector. My Ether Flow C's are going portable, baby. Yeah, I could have made them myself, but I didn't. Now, he just wrapped the tape around this to indicate left and right. And I told him that's fine because I'm going to do like I did and color these in with magic marker. Uh, a red and red and blue sharpie and then I might even get some clear nail polish acrylic and just touch it over so it doesn't wear out but yeah check that out that that is fucking custom this is the most custom wire I've ever had oh, I can't wait to take my and you know what I'm gonna take it out with I'm gonna take it out with the little with the cute one oh bouncing around makes the whole kitchen shake all right I shouldn't be happy don't be happy Zeus you'll break things structurally so I'm gonna be able to take out my balanced. I, I want, if you're gonna go two and a half millimeter, you're gonna go portable, and let's take a look at his uh, speaker cables, which are nasty. These are some nasty in the good way, not nasty in the bad way. These are the type of speaker cables, I'm sure if they showed up at one of the shows, you could put like, oh, there's a $700, because they've been crafted in Australia. In s some small person, actually put their hands into a kangaroo's pouch and soldered them all together in there for the better sound equilibrium due to nature and mucus whatever the fucks in there so yeah these are going to get used at least a few times on my actually i can hook them up here take out the z wire i mean look at the flexibility of that too i'll have to get the actual high excited i'll have to get the actual gauge numbers out of these they don't feel super heavy, but really, I mean, once you're beyond 16 gauge or 16 gauge or beyond, you're probably going to be good. Now, the main event, and as much as that should have been the main event, or the Q1 should have been the main event, or any of these things should have been main events, none of that shit matters. You know why? Because Japan toy figure. The weeb stuff hasn't made it to the unboxings. I mean that shit's here but it hasn't been unboxed do you want to do 
I high? No, okay, let's try this side. This was slightly crushed, so that's why I'm having mad difficulty, yo's. I've been waiting for this since January. And I know that because they emailed me and were like, hey, your order is ready. The order from January. And I almost forgot about it, but I kept seeing pictures of it and other people owning it. And I'm like, I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. Dude, this was worth it on its own right here. Please be some crazy Japanese advertisements. Come on, baseball topics. I'm totally using this. Usain Bolt, for some reasons, in the news. The 29th of August, 2017. All right, all this has got to get saved because when I pack up Patreon things, I'm going to pack it with a Japanese thingy. Shit. This is the wrong thing. I can't show you what's in this. I mean, I can show you what's in it, but I can't show you what's in it. Because this is not for me. This is a gift for someone else. Damn. Shit. Shit! Oh well. That's what you get. That's all you have to know.